the stream there. because we've had so many days of rain, rain, rain you thought it would be worse than it is <coughs> warnings remain in place across parts of the west after this week's heavy as does rainfall. much of the village of Exbridge on the way into Somerset from Devon. Heavy rain has also taken its toll on the middle section of the Tar Steps, which as you can see have been washed the away. The Great Western Main Line between Swindon and Bristol Parkway won't reopen until Sunday at the earliest because the track at Old Sodbury is completely underwater. The situation here would actually be a lot worse if it wasn't for this lagoon built by National Rail. It's collected enough flood water for 11 Olympic swimming pools, and that will gradually be pumped out into the River Froome. Um, at the moment, we're looking at the water levels receding, um, but we have got a forecast this evening for around about 15 mil of rain overnight, um, which will add more water onto the, the problem that we've already got here. But we will continue to monitor it and we will continue to pump when we can. This weekend, with further rain forecast across the west, Many of our communities and services are very much on the line. Andy Howard, BBC Points West. A road in Somerset's been closed because of movement in the cliffs next to it. A survey of Cleve Hill in Watchit showed that the slope beside it is slipping and there are concerns that the weather is making things worse, as Cheryl Dennis reports. The West Somerset coastline, beautiful but crumbling, Andy King is a geologist. He's been monitoring these cliffs. He's concerned there are some big problems on the way. There's been some pretty heavy rain over the last uh, week or so, and we noticed before Christmas quite a large number of rock fissures were opening up, quite a few rock slides were happening, and those are all signs of something larger actually coming along. 
And what's happened is the rainwater has actually soaked down through into the rocks and into the soils, and that's made the whole system really quite unstable. So the risk of rock falls from these cliffs has long been known. Caravans teeter on the edge, there are allotments falling onto the beach, and the road above us here is at real risk of falling down here too. And for that reason, last night, Cleve Hill between Watches and Blue Anchor was closed indefinitely, a report highlighting the imminent dangers. Even so, cars keep on coming. It is a fairly significant piece of movement that's happened. So the, the message we're trying to go across to people is the, it is potentially hazardous at the moment. Don't try and drive through it. Obviously, the gates are locked, but don't try and walk through it either. Uh, we'll go through those further investigations. We'll come up with a plan, but you know, uh, it's not going to be a quick process, I don't think. It's nice to come this way, but it's obviously, if you didn't know the route, um, and there's no diversion signs, then you probably might end up going all over the place, back to Bridgeport or something. An inconvenience for some, for others, a welcome break from troublesome traffic. We did three traffic surveys in 2021. So I can tell you with absolute certainty, a minimum of two and a half thousand cars go up and down this day on average. An enormous problem with traffic and what we need in Watch It is a plan. And that plan likely to be uncertain for some time yet while new reports are done. For now though, the scenic route is off the map. Cheryl Dennis, BBC Points West in Watch It worrying isn't it well we have had a day of respite from the rain today but we know that more is on the way later in is here in we've had so much rainfall this january haven't we we have indeed let's put that into perspective <coughs> boscom down down in the southeast part of wiltshire has already exceeded the average rain it would have show you then how rainfall is going um, to accumulate as we head through tonight and into tomorrow it's where we sit now so this is showing the rainfall amounts tallying up the scale and you will see the bias there towards the southwest being in south wales up in some uh, northwestern parts of the country so this is where we're going to see the problems develop courtesy of this development running in late this evening through tonight and on into tomorrow morning before clearing. Now importantly, as the weekend unfolds, we'll start to usher in an ever colder flow from initially the northwest, ultimately more of a northerly direction. And this adds extra complications, the first of which you saw spinning across here. This area of low pressure looks most likely to run somewhere south of the country overnight into early hours Monday. So there's one or two forecasts on, so we've had it further north with some snow potentially as a problem across parts of southern England into early Monday. That's looking at a very low probability, but one we need to keep an eye on. So give it to about 11 o'clock. I think the rain will be already into Bristol and it will already have been across the west. A lot of rain starting to tally up across the likes of Exmoor, the Mendips Plateau, Forest of Dean and elsewhere. Uh, temperatures overnight, for what it's worth, uh, the lowest about 5 Celsius, but by tomorrow morning it'll be a wet, windy start and gradually, gradually that leaves off towards the east. And eventually later we will see more in the way of some brightness starting to feed across with a few showers, yes, but certainly improvement compared to the morning. There's the temperatures tomorrow, 11 to 12 Celsius. As I said, they will take a tumble as we head on into next week and we will keep you up to date with the details of that. We've got a bit of everything. I really feel for people who are working outside as well. Even so, cars keep on coming. It is a fairly significant piece of movement that's happened. So the, the message we're trying to go across to people is the, it is potentially hazardous at the moment. Don't try and drive through it. Obviously, the gates are locked, but don't try and walk through it either. Uh, we'll go through those further investigations. We'll come up with a plan, but you know, uh, it's not going to be a quick process, I don't think. Watch it. I'm going to get some more cough mixture. We stopped and went and uh, went in briefly yesterday and uh, sitting in the car there far from the carriage. It was so blowy you could actually oh, look at it. You could see the that little oh, God. You could see the canopy over the garage lifting up and down. Yeah. Your car looks a bit pretty when we get home. Might do water over it. Going 
to Wellington. Doesn't usually flood around here though, in the town, does it? So, um, hopefully I'll well, be able to park fairly close to the chemist in Wellington. the canopy I was talking about that was lifting up and down yesterday Cars here, though, even so. Yeah. Mm. Gosh, I'm not going to get that close, are you? You just put it down there. Oh, it's a bit of a little in the middle there, yeah. That's why she needs some more cough medicine. Mm-hmm. 